Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Michael Smiley. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about um, TVs and the different kinds of brands and <clears throat> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, peeps. So, coming from a customer's point of view, because obviously I've bought TVs and different uh, brands of them, and um, also coming from a professional background in working in a lot in an electronics department, dealing with different brands and of TVs and stuff like that. So I just want to talk about um, some things because people don't understand or maybe if they are like on the edge of making a choice on something maybe I can help out who knows but <clears throat> okay so I'll start with like I'll start with Vizio so Vizio is not Samsung or Sony or anything like that um, and what people really don't know about it. Okay, so it has a a decent picture, right? And it is one of the bigger selling brands now. <clears throat> and um, so that and it's decently priced. Um, however, I heard I don't know if this is true because I haven't looked into it, but I you know obviously. Um, I've looked into the cell phone aspect of, um, you know, 4G and stuff like that is radiation um, that causes um, reproductive harm and cancer. Um, I don't know. I heard that the Vizios do this. Uh, let's offer radiation. Um, and but I like I know for sure that the cell phones do. <clears throat> it says it right on the packaging, at least for at least Straight Talk has it on their packaging anyway. But anyway, um so if you don't want to deal with any of that nonsense, you have the element, which I wouldn't suggest to anybody. Um, I don't think that they're a great brand. I think that they're cheap, and I think that, you know, what you pay for is what you get. Um, also, the on-brand or whatever. I mean, the company has, like, several good products, but the TV aspect is not one of them. It's not a big seller. I mean, it's not... Again, it's just like the element when it's, you know, what you buy is what you pay for. Now, I always recommend um, people to buy when they come in. I always recommend them Samsung or LG and TCL. The reason why, <clears throat> Samsung, you're getting what you're paying for great uh, picture quality, the whole nine yards, lasts a really long time. LG, LG is the only TV that I'm aware of that has true color accuracy, which means that the blacks are blacks, and what people don't understand about that is that the, because the blacks are true blacks, it makes all the other colors in the picture pop, so it makes them more vibrant and more beautiful when you're you know, watching a 4K movie or something. So, <clears throat> and a lot of people don't know that. Because what's going on with the other ones is the blacks are not blacks. They're really, 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 really dark shades of blue or really, really, really dark shades of green or purple. So it's really, 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 really dark shades of those colors to make it, to make the black look black. <clears throat> but LG has true color accuracy um, and it has a beautiful picture you know the whole nine yards so I really do recommend Samsung and LG and the reason why I recommend uh, TCL is because so it is on an off brand um, that's getting a little bit more popular now because everybody's realizing that it is a good TV 
Um, <clears throat> TCL has great picture. Um, it lasts a really long time, personally, coming from somebody who's owned a TCL. Um, and they are really good TVs. So I always do, and I have not seen a return so far of the TCLs or the LGs. The only time I ever see a return is going like a size up or a size down of the same TV. <clears throat> not actually coming in and trading brands or anything like that. Um, the other TVs, I have seen many returns. Hisense is another one that has very mixed reviews in my opinion. Um, I've seen a lot of customers tell me that they absolutely don't like it and then other customers tell me that they do. So, I mean, it's a iffy, spotty spot. <clears throat> So, um, and I've never personally owned, um, I haven't personally owned a Hisense, but family has, and, um, I think that they're decent TVs, um, they last a long time, uh, and this, is, again, is coming just from my perspective of it, is, they're not the greatest brand, um, because they, they're like that in that the awkward in between stage where, where um, it's not like true 4K, but it's not the 1080 either. It's an awkward in between. I mean, uh, th this TV particular TV was bought years ago. I just want to clarify that. So maybe the 4K now that they came out with is actually true 4K and works with 4K Blu-ray player. <coughs> Another thing that people want to take into account is that, um, so you never ever want to pay attention to the, like when, you know when you walk into a store like Walmart or Target or Best Buy, <clears throat> and they have the TVs on to show you the, the picture and everything, that's great and everything. But there's a number of things that go into the quality of picture that you're seeing because I've seen so many people take home the TV and say, well, the picture quality isn't as good and all that good stuff. First of all, it's not going to be unless you have a number of factors um, that go together that make it as the picture perfect that you see. So... <clears throat> A lot of people don't realize that, um, yes, their their TV is compatible with that uh, resolution, but you also have to take into account the quality of HDMI, of the HDMI cord that you have. Um, <clears throat> and another factor is if you have it plugged into if you have okay so there's really three components or actually four and I'm gonna separate them and then all together so you want 4k TV right the best TV while well, they're coming out with 8k TVs now but we're not gonna worry about that right now because they're not a big thing yet and all the other stuff so <clears throat> you want a 4k TV um, to have really really great quality picture you want you know, at least a 120 refresh rate, hertz, whatever you want to call it, and higher. Um, then you want an HDMI that's going to support up to that uh, hurt rate or the motion picture rate to make it so the transition from the player to the TV is going to have that to make it maximum effect. <clears throat> then we get to the player. You're going to want a 4K player, a 4K Blu-ray player. Not one of those upscaling ones, but a true 4K Blu-ray player <clears throat> that connects to the HDMI that supports up to the hertz or motion rate of the TV. 
And then you want the 4K movies. So you have the 4K movie in the 4K Blu-ray player that's picture quality is being uh, translated through the, H the high quality HDMI port that supports up to the hertz or motion picture ray of the TV and that's what gives you your maximum effect. It's really a combination of all four of those components. It's not just, oh, I have a 4K TV and it's going to be 4K picture quality or it's going to look like the beautiful quality that I seen when it was on display at the, the store. That's not the case. You have to have several different components to make it look that, um, that amazing. So, <sighs> so you have to have... Um, different, you know, all those components together. You can't just have the TV and then call it good. If you want the highest quality that you can get, you need all of those factors into one. Um, so, yeah, Sony, Sony is an excellent brand. You're getting what you're paying for. Samsung, LG, and TCL are the four brand TVs that I would recommend to anybody. <clears throat> Anything else is really, really iffy or spotty um, at best. So, um, you know, again, if you want, yeah, so another thing is, you know, people want to know the difference between Smart TV and a not smart TV. Smart TV will give you all your apps, like your Hulu, your Netflix, etc. Um, Non-smart TVs will not. If you want to make them smart, you can either buy a Roku stick, which is what I did, and Rokus are amazing. And obviously the, the Blu-ray player. Well, I have a 4K one and a 4K TV. <clears throat> so, um, it just so happens that I don't have a smart 4K TV, but we'll change that down the line. Anyway, um, I forgot where I was. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are the, the, um, the four brands that I highly recommend. Um, when it comes to HDMI cords, Walmart has decent HDMI cords, but they don't have the really, 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 really great ones that really, uh, really translate the image um, of the movies. And I own a Samsung, no, Sony. And a Sony 4K Blu-ray player. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so yeah, great picture quality on those. Um, and that's really it when it comes to talking to branding. Obviously, I don't think that they make plasmas anymore, so I don't think that you need to hear my rant on plasmas, but. If anyone tries to sell you an old plasma TV, don't take it. They're garbage. Um, yeah, the picture quality is good for a minute, but the screens literally burn, especially when you have a pause for any length of time, um, and it ruins the picture and pixels and whatever else. Um, so plasma is the worst brand of TV that you could get. <clears throat> And I think that I covered all the brands. Um, if anybody has any input, just uh, leave it down in the comments and let me know what you guys think about the different brands of TVs and stuff and what you guys have or what you would recommend and why. Maybe you had a good experience with the Hisense TV. Maybe you did have a great experience with the on TV or the Element TV. <clears throat> I'm just talking from my person personal opinion as a customer and as a an electronics 
associate salesperson. So, um, yeah. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, make sure you give my video a thumbs up and and leave your comment and let me know. Um, let me know your opinions about things and the different brands and stuff. So. I'll let you guys go, and until next time, have a great day, guys.